Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Have a tune today. We are going to learn how to play I Stay Away by Alice in Chains. Beautiful song. Interesting. Just so creative. Just such a great song. Um, just how it's laid out and the riffs. When it gets when we get to the electric park, the riffs are just just odd, but really cool and just very unique and creative. So um, really what we have here is we have some acoustic going through the track. Of course, that's the main riff. Um, but when the guitar kicks in, the electric guitar kicks in, with like the pre-chorus and stuff, um, and even like the outro choruses, they're really dominated by, they do have some acoustic going along with them. But they'll play a lot of the similar things um, that the... Uh, uh, electrics doing so um, when we jump to we're basically going to learn the main riff here um, that we were played during the verse sections uh, on the acoustic um, and then when we get to the electric you know a lot of the chorus sections we're just going to play it on electric and if you wanted to double it on acoustic and stuff so obviously I'm using a 12 string acoustic like as you use on the track but you don't have to have a 12 string just to make it sound good all right before, before I get into it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And very important, check out my Guitar Academy. You see a link in the description below. That'll give you a free seven day trial. I'm not kidding, free seven day trial. Check out all my guitar courses, uh, unlimited access. Um, and you can, uh, my courses cover everything from complete beginner courses to um, more advanced courses in improvisation and technique and, and uh, ear training and guitar tone. Uh, we've got a great community going over there, so please come and join us. All right, so now the tuning here is in dropped uh, C sharp. And then that takes a lot of time on a 12 string. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, but I do it for you guys. I go through it every time. So those notes, it's just basically C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, uh, or call those all flats like the d flat a flat d flat g flat b flat e flat if your tuner does flats most most tuners that i see they usually call them sharps um i'll put the notes in the description though for you all right so let's jump into this song so the the main acoustic thing that we're going to do here is just a really killer riff <laughs> So we're going to start here with uh, borrowing the 5th fret on the the um, high E and the B string and then adding the 7th fret there on the G. Then you're going to play the open D string with it. If you want to make it sound a little bit bigger, you can add the low D and A. That would be fine. And then the next chord is, so that's an open D string, 5th fret on the G, 8th fret on the B, then the open high E. So we have this uh, all together. One more time. Then we had this little arpeggiated run. So that is going to uh, you're basically playing the 3rd fret on the A and 2nd fret on the D and then the open G first. So pick a cross though from the A to the D string to the G. Then over to the 2nd fret on the A string and then the open D, open G. So. Then jump over here to the 5th fret on the low, well it's the D string, right? So over here, the 5th fret on the low E or D, whatever you want to call it. So you play that with the open A and the open D twice. Then what you're going to do is 
take that bottom note, pull off the four, and then the open. And then kind of do like I do like a downstroke, then a little uh, upstroke on the D and the A string. So we have this. to the electric. Now we do later on after we play this pre-chorus here on the electric, which I'm going to switch to electric real quick for you guys, uh, and then we'll just keep it on electric throughout for the, the main chorus and the solo of course. Um, but we do come back to the verse, which it comes back to just, just to acoustic there. Alright, so it does come back. but uh, And you do hear it kind of layering with the, the um, electric uh, guitar in the chorus section, especially towards the end. Um, but you can play it um, kind of just play the acoustic whether you want or just play it on electric if you want. All right, so I'm going to jump over to electric now so we can uh, learn how to do those sections. All right, so let's take a look at this pre-chorus riff real quick. So this riff is a very unique little riff here, and the ending that he does, if you listen really close to the recording, he sometimes will do a bend, and then rele release the bend and resolve it, and sometimes he'll hold the note he bends to. Now this section is also not the easiest to hear because all those harmony vocals are really laid heavily on top of it. But the riff itself is this. So that starts with a, a bend and release at the fifth fret on the D string. Pull off to the third fret there, then pull off to the open D. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play, uh, you're gonna hammer three to five on the A, pull back off to that three, pull off to the open A. Now we go over to the uh, low E string or, or D string, you want to call it now. And that's a slow half step, I mean whole step bend up. And then resolve it back to that note. Then you do the riff again. And this time, and you know, sometimes you can do it randomly if you want. You bend up to that note and then hold that. Go to this D power chord here, just the open D, A, low D, A, D, and then the second fret there on the G and third fret on the uh, B string. And that's when the, you 
start having the acoustic come back in for the, that uh, verse section again. So then we have um, the verse section, and then the same pre-chorus riff comes in for the pre-chorus. And then we have the full chorus hits, finally. And um, that's got a really cool riff, and that leads us into the solo pretty quick. They just play it real quickly, and then they go into the solo. Um, and then later on in the song, they play the chorus a lot more. So this chorus riff is like this. <laughs> So that kind of lip. really that's part of the chorus. And so I'll, I'll show you right now kind of the chorus that we're going to be doing here, but also repeating at the end of the song. And then it does lead in, but I'll, I'll treat the solo as its own thing just starting there. So this chorus riff, that, that D, uh, you can start with actually a D major chord now. So I have a full D major chord and then all the six strings. Then if you listen really close on the recording and you see him do it live too, he comes up here and goes. So that's jumping up here to kind of what we did on the acoustic. We have the fifth fret there on the G, but also bar it. So you're playing it on the B string as well. And then that eighth fret there on the B. So we're gonna play, I like to kind of play the, these low strings in there with it. And the fifth fret there on the, G, uh, eighth fret on the B, play that, then lift up that eighth fret, just have that bar, so it's the fifth fret there now on the B, along with the fifth fret on the C, uh, the uh, G string, and then back uh, to that, add the eight again. So we have this. And then you kind of hit a couple hits on this B flat power chord. So that's just the power chord at the first fret off the A string. And then that's a B flat power chord, move it up two frets to the C power chord. And then back to that D power chord. So for the first time through the riff is that. Now the second time through is similar. So it's just when we get to that D power chord there, there's this little bass line, two, three, five on the D. And then, so that's when, leads up to the solo the first time you hear that chorus, so you just play through the chorus one time. But at the end of the song, they just repeat that. So we, we basically do it like this. Repeat. That's what I mean. All right, so and then obviously, so every other time, I can throw that little tail on it. And the end of the track, you're just going to end it on that little. that B flat chord there, you'll, you'll hear it in kind of, so they're kind of repeating the chorus and then they just kind of end it on the B flat. All right, so really all we have to tackle now is the, um, is the solo, Jerry Cantrell's solo. So I'm gonna play through that real quick for you and then uh, I'll show you how to play it note for note. So here we go. <laughs> All 
All right, and then from there it goes back into the, the same pre-course and stuff that we've covered in, in course. So now that starts with that little <laughs> kind of tail of the, the chorus there. And then we're up to the seventh fret there on the D. We have this. Kind of hold it. So we're gonna just put a lot of vibrato on that uh, seventh fret there on the D and let it ring. Then we're gonna play five on the G, hammer seven, pack, pull back off to a five. And then a bend at the seventh fret there. Now release the bend. Off the five, over the seven on the D, and then back to the five on the G. So we have this. Now that's a step and a half bend. So three half steps there, then. So that right there is the fifth fret. Now there's some pinch harmonics being added. So really kind of a dig in. A lot of really wide vibrato and you know some obvious uh, uh, pinch harmonics here. So we had the fifth fret there on the G. And then seven, six, five on the D. Down to three on the D. And then And then back to that five on the D string with a bend. Back to three with a kind of slide bend on that. Over to the five on the A. And then three five on the A. Oh, sorry. All right, then we're back to to the fifth fret there on the A. Now from here we have kind of the section. It's not very easy to hear in the mix, but you can tell where he ends up. So he got, it starts with a bend. Kind of sounds like he's just working his way down the strings, just playing five three. So he starts with a bend. On the the D string, and then just work your way down. Five three, five three on the A, five three on the low E. You're talking about the D there. Trying to get your way down to that note. So we had this so far. All right. So from there. Um, we're back to the fifth fret. So that's a, a bend at the fifth fret on the D again. And then take that few more times, add in those pinch harmonics. And release it, pull off the three on the D. And we're doing five on the A. And then we have this little phrase. So that's, you can hammer them all if you want. It's just three, five on the A, three, five on the D, slide up to seven, and then five, seven on the G. From there we have this, slide into the seven again, over to six on the um, B string. You can play this if you want. Into that seven. Over to six on the B. Back to the seventh fret a couple times. And then this last phrase, which is going to be a couple of bends at the eighth fret on the B. Release. Over to six on the B. To seven on the G. 
Back to the 6 on the B, and back to the 7. And back to that pre chorus riff. So all together for the solo. Back to that pre-chorus. All right, and then we just have the extended chorus after the pre-chorus, and we are good to go. We've already covered that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just an, it's such a great song, such a unique track. Um, some really cool guitar parts to it, and if you have a 12-string, you can really make it sound great. All right, so I hope to see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.